morning everyone today we are in franklin new jersey friday was a long week i'm gonna jump in the 80 here now so i can go fill up the two mason dump trucks with phil all right we're gonna begin to load our two mason dump trucks gonna put about four and a half tons in each one uh, we are lucky to have our screen soil right here with our screening machine and then we'll use our fill as our compacting base. This stuff gets about 95% compactability. So our first load in the void will be this stuff and then we'll finish it off with this nice screen. So we'll load our two trucks today because we have a 1000 gallon tank removal and that's what it requires. Trucks are loaded, excavator, two masons of product. We're headed to Franklin, New Jersey, 1,000 gallon tank removal. See you up there. So we've arrived on site. The uh, property is right off Route 23. So we'll put on our safety gear, throw some cones out. We'll take a look at the property, assess the situation, figure out how we're going to bring the trucks in, and keep everybody safe. Looks like here's the house. So 1,000 gallon tank removal. So here's the tank. So that's the size of the road. All right, Mike and Sam have figured out how to handle this. We're going to start moving, positioning all the trucks. Uh, I've got a water line that comes out to the roadway here. I've got a sewer line that comes out through the roadway. The owner owns that property, so we're going to enter with the excavator down there. I'm going to sit where that gentleman is. I'll excavate the 1,000 gallon tank 
and I'm gonna bring my two mason dumps in through this way. And I'll dig out of the back of them. So, it's a fun one. Right by one of our favorite golf courses. And the work begins. Finished cutting the tank. So as you can see, it's not a 1,000. It's only a 550. Uh, this makes it obviously a little bit easier, but we didn't need that whole second dump truck. I was sure. Probably got about 200 gallons in it. Sammy will finish cutting it. I'll bend that top open. We'll pump out a little right of oil. That's our overburden. That's basically how much soil it takes to remove one of these tanks. That's about four and a half tons, maybe five tons. Okay. Mikey's pumping out the oil. He's getting ready to enter it and clean it. Mikey in that tank again cleaning, scooping out all that sludge. The tank is pitched very badly, so you can see everything lays down here. So that's where all the water is laying. So if there are any holes in this tank, which I don't think there are, because it's a very thick gauge metal, that's where they lay. That's why you see the bottom of the tank here is so orange because of the oxidation from the condensation and water. Jammer's running buckets. It's a Friday. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, so we've got the tank out of the ground and we have 
two small pinholes. I'm not sure you can see them. And you can see the tank is wet in this area. So we took a scoop, did a PID reading right in that area. It's not that bad. So we'll see what the inspector says when they come out. If it fails, we'll contact the DEP because this is the state of New Jersey. And then we'll begin to assist them with trying to get the homeowner's insurance coverage. I think this is commercial property and renting property. So that falls under a different policy, not a lot of pollution coverage on commercial or renting property. But it all starts with the inspector. We'll see what they say. Okay, we are all loaded up. The project's completed. Another happy customer. Thrown down a little bit of seed. That's all compacted. Repaired our tracks where we came in. Put some screen soil and some seed back on that. Raised the grade there slightly because the rain will press it a little bit, vent pipe's removed, copper's been removed all the way back to the burner. Everything is finished. It's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental.